Thomas Merton was not afraid to talk about the idols that currently attract us in our culture. He says, there are much more dangerous and much more potent idols in the world today than idols of wood and stone. Signs of cosmic and technological power, political and scientific idols, idols of the nation, the party, the race. These are evident enough, but the fact that they are evident in themselves does not mean that people do not submit more and more blindly, more and more despairingly to their complete power. The idol of national military strength was never more powerful than today, even though men claim to desire peace. And his resolution to the various idolatries that tempt us today is to get back to the simple gift of our being, that being itself is miraculous, is holy, is a gift, and that responding to it is necessarily an act of gratitude, an act of gratitude for the sacrament of existence, the sacrament that the universe bestows upon all of us. Thank you, Thomas. See you tomorrow.